Will you please just sit down, Clark? Thank you. Wonder what that's about. Oh, I'm sure they're talking about the case like everybody else. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Good morning, counselor. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you could make it. Oh, well, is my client. Of course I've made it. I just hope that we can arrive at a uh, comfortable compromise. I think that depends on Ms. Domingo. Well, let's hope that she's a little more calm than she was in the courtroom. Well, she did throw us a curve. No, she's not the only one. What uh, prompted you to change Mrs. Santana's plea to not guilty like that? Well, that was Lily's decision. Oh. I'm afraid that she didn't understand the implications of a guilty plea. Oh. At Rhodes and McKnight, we were taught that was an attorney's first priority. <laughs> Lily wants to see her son. She changed her plea so she could spend time with him. Now, can I assume that if and when she wants to change her plea to guilty again, our deal is still on the table? You can assume that. And you won't oppose bail. Thank you very much. I don't see Lily as a flight risk or a danger to anyone else, and I'm listening to Pilar as courtesy. And because Judge Shaw ordered it. Hey, at any rate, I think it'd be wise to hear out Ms. Domingo right now. Did you guys catch the Chicago papers today? Yeah, Bulls won again. Yeah, and Lucinda Walsh and Lily Santana lost. Okay, yes, the big city guys think that Pilar is a sympathetic figure, but I can make Lily a sympathetic figure, too. Lots of luck. Why don't you lighten up? Hey, I can't help it. I just don't think that giving a murderer preferential treatment because she comes from a prominent family looks good. Is that what you're implying that I'm doing? Me? No. But she is Lucinda Walsh's daughter, and the papers are going to have a few. You know, since you're new here, I'm going to let that pass. But I don't allow Lucinda or anyone else to influence my decisions. I didn't mean any disrespect. I'm just saying in a high-profile case like And I don't try my cases in the press. Maybe not. But Lucinda Walsh was in your office today after the hearing. The press is watching every move we make. We just got to make sure that justice is served. That's all I'm saying. Well, that's what I try to do in all my cases. But I fail to see how justice is being served by keeping a mother and her child apart. Okay, so the car is here. So Diego is here. And Lily is there. This is at least for the back. So Lily's here. It's here, and everyone else is back here. It's Cal and it's Connor and Susan. Susan. Susan is there. And then. Emily, and Emma, and Mike, and where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Mom, can we have our board back now? No, you can't, not until I'm finished. Mom, how long are you going to keep that board anyway? You know what, Adam, you, you guys have a million games up there. Why don't you want to go play with one of them? What are you doing with that? Said, just leave me alone. Just, just, just go. Just go. Go. Now, go. Counting on you're having some coffee brewing. It is freezing out there. <laughs> well, yeah, there's some in the pot still, I think, yeah. Honey, I hope you don't mind my just barging in like this, but I know the boys are on their winter break, and I thought, hey, they might be driving you crazy. <laughs> so how did you know I wasn't still at the station? Well, uh... Oh, don't bother making anything up. I'm sure Tom told you that I've been put out to pasture. <laughs> no, wait, he didn't put it that way. So. No, 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 no. Just on leave. Well, honey, under the circumstances, don't you think it's probably for the best? Hmm. So I guess Tom told you everything, huh? Well, I don't know what you mean. But how I freaked out of the church and saw things that weren't there and didn't see things that are. He's just worried about you, darling. 
I am, too. <laughs> it's just, it's this PTS thing. It'll mm -hmm. pass, though. Well, of course it will. But in the meantime, don't you think you should just be, well, taking it easy? Yes, I do, but I don't need a babysitter. Thank you. Come on, I know Tom sent you over here to check up on me. That's what he did, isn't he? No, Tom did not send me over here to check up on you. He said, however, that if I had some spare time, I might come over and see how you're doing. Same thing. Oh, Margo, don't be like this, honey. Lisa, I just don't need the family worried about me. I'll worry. Oh, you're my daughter-in-law. Honey, when I heard what you were going through, I, I was really concerned. I wanted to see what I could do to help. Tom didn't have to prompt me to come. There's nothing you can do to help. Now, are you sure? Well, you can help yourself to the coffee. You know where it is. Yes, I know. Well, oh, here's a boy. Hi, well, how pretty. Hey. Yes. Oh my goo. How are the boys today? Are you enjoying your winter winter vacation? <laughs> well, it would have been more fun in Florida. It would have been. Yeah, mm -hmm. but remember that time where you and Grandpa took us to Whoopi World? You're asking me if I remember. <laughs> Of course I remember. It was a year ago, and I'm still trying to recover. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, can we please have our board it's back now? It's may I and no, you may not. I told you I would let you know when I'm finished. Come on, Casey, let's get some cookies. Margo, uh, honey, what, what is all of this? I'm just trying to, uh... Figure out what happened after Lily's wedding when Diego was shot. Uh -huh. Now, do you really think that's a good idea? Yes. This is my job. I'm a cop. We recreate crime scenes. I've got to know what happened. Well, I thought the whole purpose for you having this little leave was so you could forget this particular crime. Well, obviously, Tom didn't tell you the whole story. Mm, I, I don't know what you mean. The problem is not to forget the crime. The problem is I can't remember. Whatever happened that night, the, the ceremony, the Diego being shot, it's just, it's, it's, it's gone. Well, maybe that's just for the best. It's driving me out of my mind. I, I, I didn't it's mean it that way, Margo. Why? Why? I, I gotta remember, I was there. I was Lily's matron of honor. The ceremony, Diego being shot, it's all, I've just repressed the whole thing. And I've gotta, gotta know why. There are certain circumstances under which my office might oppose bail. What circumstances? If the person were a flight risk, if they were apt to commit a crime while on bail if they were unstable. Well, Lily Grimaldi's unstable. She shot my brother in cold blood outside a church. I mean, I'm telling you, the lady is loca. No, loca. it's only temporarily local, right? Don't really knock it off. Unstable. I mean, local, you know, evil. I appreciate having your opinion and yours as well, Jessica, but it is totally up to the judge to decide whether or not to grant bail. I know, but you can recommend that he deny it, can you? Except. What, you're not going to do it? I'm not going to because I don't consider her to be a flight risk. Just as I thought. Now, the judge may ask her to give up her passport, her driver's license. You no, know, this is a joke. You are humoring me. No, know? I'm actually trying to explain the law to you. You never had any intention of listening to me. This is a waste of time. 